This conference will now be recorded. Okay, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs, guys. This is Naveen here. So in the previous video, we have seen what is prime number. Now the next question is very popular. What is palindrome number? Palindrome number is very, very simple that uh, the reverse of that number is equivalent to the same number. So I'll give you an example. Let's see, uh, 151 is palindrome. So if you reverse this number, right? If you read it from left to right, 151, from right to left also 151, right? So if you reverse, okay, this is also called prime number. Now let's see 454 is also prime number. Some five digit value, if you write like this, three, four, uh, five, four, three. Three, four, five, four, three. See, three, four, five, four, three. And if you read it from last, three, four, five, four, three is also a prime number. 161 is also a prime number. Let's see, I'm writing um, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, and seven, eight, nine, eight, seven is also a palindrome number. I'm talking about number. Okay, so how to check this is this number is a palindrome number? So same thing. We will not write the logic inside the main method. Okay, always remember, guys, write the write a function, write a new function, and call that function inside the main method. So let's do it and. Um, what I'm going to do that simple, I'm going to create, um, okay, I'm going to create a method, let's see, public void, and uh, the method name is, let's see, is palindrome number. This is my method name. I'll make it a static so that I can call it directly inside the main method is palindrome number is there and uh, what i'm gonna do that uh, okay what i'm gonna do that see i'm passing one number int num over here okay like this and uh, okay i'm thinking how can i design i mean the and, okay fine is palindrome number is 151 so first i'll quickly do one thing I'll maintain one variable, let's see int r, r means reverse variable. So with zero, I'll declare with zero, int r equal to zero. And uh, I'll maintain one more variable, sum. I'll tell you why we are maintaining sum is equal to zero. And I'll maintain one, one more variable, let's, uh, let us, let's see, t variable. That is your temporary variable, okay? All Okay, fine. This is the temporary variable I'm declaring like this. After that, what I'm going to do that uh, whatever the value I'm passing, okay, whatever the value I'm passing, let's say I'm passing 151. I'll call this method and I'm passing 151. So immediately what I'll do, I'll take this t is equal to num. So I'll make this whatever the value is there number. I'm passing 151. So that's why I'm not declaring with zero. And immediately this number will be given to this T. Right? So this is my original value. So T or I'll make it, let's see, original or T. Let's make it T only. So this is my original number I'm passing like this. Now what I'll do that uh, I'll write a while loop. Okay. I'll write a while loop while number is greater than zero. I'll write one condition. Number is greater than zero. Now see, I have to get the reminder, okay? Reminder of that particular number. So how to get the reminder? Number percentage 10, okay? Number percentage 10, I'll get the reminder and I'll store this reminder in R, whatever the reverse value is there, right? Or maybe R value, R, I could say reminder value. So this is what simple, get the reminder, get the reminder. Okay, get the remainder, I'll store over here like this. After that, what exactly I'm gonna do, that sum variable that we have created, right? I'm gonna create a sum is equal to, initially I'll append with, I mean, I'll add with the default sum value, default sum value is zero. And what exactly I'm gonna do, not like this, I'm gonna do like this, sum I'll multiply by 10 first, okay? I'll tell you why I'm doing this. 
whatever the sum value is there initially multiply by 10 and then add with your whatever the remainder is there okay whatever the remainder is there simple add with that and after that whatever the num is there okay num is equal to number divided by 10 that's it this three lines of code will do the magic and after that out of the while loop i'll put one condition if right if your t the number that we are expecting this t is equal to equal to whatever the value is that we are creating sum it means that number is palindrome number it means system dot out of print ln i'll write let's see palindrome number and otherwise simple i'll write one else else system dot out of print ln not palindrome number okay so let's see this is the first basic logic i have written let's see i don't know it is correct or not we will we will check and we will see we will do a dry run with different uh, examples and we will see it is working or not so i'll do one thing i'll call this method is palindrome over here and i'll pass my palindrome number is let's see 151 so i'm passing 151 fine so 151 will be given to this guy number okay and uh, fine so then r equal to zero sum equal to zero t it is fine what is the value of t so i'll do one thing to check this code i'll put a debugger over here guys so at line number 13 i'll put a debugger okay and then i'll run in debug mode so simple debug as java application so this is the best way of checking your logic it is correct or not so let's see so uh what is the value of number number is 151 so if you mouse over num is 151 and i'll execute this line number 13 now the what is the value of t t is 151 that is also fine condition number is 151 greater than zero condition is true it will come inside the while loop okay and uh, r equal to number modulus 10 it means give me the remainder so what will be the remainder remainder 151 is dip modulus 10 it means 151 is not fully divisible by 10 so it will not give you zero remainder is one right so it will give you remainder is one right so it is like this 151 divided by 10 151 more okay more this is called percentage divided by 10 it means it will give you remainder so i'll get r equal to one so only right so if you know the concept of remainder i'm i'm talking like this this is 151 modulus 10 right so it will check like this 115 plus 10 is equal to 150 and what is the remainder is there 151 minus 150 it will equal to 1 so remainder will be 1 like this so if i ask you what will be the output of 10 modulus 10 okay 10 remainder 10 is equal to 0 why because 10 is fully divisible by 10 right like this so if i ask you 152 uh, percentage 10 remainder will be 2 the so same thing this is 151 151 is remainder by 10 so r will be 1 now okay so fine so r equal to 1 initially sum is equal to 0 so 0 multiply by 10 0 and 0 plus r r is 1 so sum equal to 1 so what will the value of sum sum equal to 1 first time fine okay then number equal to number divided by 10 so now this is the number divided by 10 so number is 151 divided by 10 not percentage divide by 10 so 151 divided by 10 so the moment you do it number will become 15 now because 151 divided by 10 it will be what will happen if you divide 151 by 10 it will give you 15.1 but this is an integer so 0.1 will be removed so number will become only 15 so what will be the number value then the value of the number will be 15 now instead of 151 now the number has been reduced to 15 again it will check 15 greater than 0 yes condition is again satisfied i'll check okay fine now give me r equal to 15 modulus 10 15 remainder of 10 let's see so it will give you r equal to 5 now because 15 modulus 10 is equal to 5 right because 10 ones are 10 the remainder is 5 now right so it will give you 5 and uh, 
now what is what will be the value of sum initially initially sum is 1 1 multiplied by 10 10 10 plus 5 so sum will be 15 now fine so sum will become 15 okay and what will be the value of number number is 15 and 15 divided by 10 now so 15 divided by 10 again it will be 1 15 divided by 10 so what will be the value 1.5 0.5 will be removed and it will give you 1 and again number 1 is greater than 0 now number has been reduced to 1 so initially number was 151 then it became 15 now finally it became 1 so 1 greater than 0 condition is again satisfied it will come over here so 1 modulus 10 reminder will be 0 okay sorry 1 modulus 10 reminder will be 1 always okay not 0 um i got confused it should be in 1 divided by 10 if you're coming like this then it will be 0 so remainder will be 0 oh sorry remainder will be 1 because number is 1 1 modulus 10 remainder will be 1 always always remember this thing okay and then sum equal to what will be the initial value of sum initial value of sum was 15 15 multiplied by 10 150 150 plus 1 it will become 151 so final value of sum is 151 and again number divided by 10 so if you check now number will become zero this is what i'm talking about so initially number was one one divided by 10 so always remember one divide modulus 10 is equal to one but one divided by 10 one cannot be divided by 10 it will give you zero point something like this right so the output will be zero always okay so number will become zero now zero greater than zero no condition is not satisfied so it will come out of the while loop so what is the value of original value of number is original value of t is 151 and what exactly sum become sum became 151 both are equal if both are equal that is your palindrome number so if you run it see this is your palindrome number right so if you run it it will give you <coughs> palindrome number okay so one minute let me erase this diagram and then we will write some test cases so according to this my logic is perfectly fine <clears throat> so let's see what i'm gonna do that the moment i get this i'll simple print system dot out of print ln <clears throat> i'll write like this given number is number and then if i run this program it will show you the output given number is 151 and it is palindrome number fine now i'll check with some other other values let's see 151 i'll check let's see 152 152 is not a palindrome number so let's see it is working or not so not palindrome number so this logic guys will reverse okay always remember this logic people will ask you at a time of interview either you are going for amazon or microsoft or any product based company people will ask you this question or lesser experienced guy if you're going with two years or five years experience guy definitely people will ask you okay just print give me the palindrome number basic logic very very basic logic so just remember this get the remainder sum equal to sum multiplied by 10 plus r and num equal to number by 10 that's it and you have to keep decreasing the number like this and then finally you have to check t so people, most of the people they're confused okay why we are maintaining this t because we have to maintain a third variable a temporary variable initially immediately whatever the number i'm passing immediately i'll give it to this guy t and then entire logic will i'll perform on number and then finally i'll check t equal to equal to sum or not if it is equal to equal to sum then that is your palindrome number fine so let's see what 152 for 152 is not palindrome number fine now let's see some other um what else we have let's see seven some large number seven eight nine eight seven so let's see seven eight nine eight seven it is working or not yes it is a palindrome number yes given number is this and it is a palindrome number right <clears throat> so this is how guys we have to find the palindrome number now this is for integers same thing for uh, uh strings so for strings also that is guys maybe i can create uh, i can prepare one more video on this string means let's see t a t a or i'll write like this not t a t a uh let's see if some string is there t 
e e t okay teat all right that's no meaning of that but if you reverse it okay from uh from here left to right t w t from here also from the end also it's t w t okay so that is also called palindrome string so so far we are talking about we have talked about palindrome number but this is reverse of the string it means reverse of the string is equal to same so that program i have already written if you remember okay that logic i have already covered okay how to reverse a string and then you have to check if the reverse of the string is equivalent to your actual string it means that is a palindrome string so both the questions people will ask you so that is your assignment or maybe i can cover in the next video if you reverse a string how to find out that palindrome string is there or not very simple you can try by your own as well okay so if you really like this you can write the solution of this palindrome string in the comment section um, i'll be looking for okay your logic is correct or not you just need to reverse a string and then compare with the original string and that's it now different test cases you can write like this i'm passing some actual values okay and uh, let's see one okay let me check my logic is covering one let's see so for one <coughs> given number is one one is also palindrome number because if you reverse of one is always one so one is also a palindrome number so let's see one 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 okay triple one triple one is also a palindrome number right so that is also palindrome number let's say i'm writing 11 10 then it is not a palindrome number so make sure guys that your logic should satisfy all these test cases this thing is important okay you have to cover all the corner cases then only okay they will <clears throat> give you the full marks fine what else we can check here maybe we can check with zero okay let's see with zero also so yes zero is also a palindrome number we can consider because the reverse of zero is always zero like this okay guys so that's all for today i mean that's all for this particular session and i hope you really, you really like this series and please practice guys it looks very easy but when you actually write the code most of the people they forget this logic so please and the problem is at the time of interview you won't get enough time within five minutes you have to give the answer okay so that they can switch to the next question but if you are spending 15 20 minutes on these things it is it is not good okay cool so thanks for watching guys please write your solution for this teat the string reverse palindrome string and let me know if you have any questions thank you so much thanks a lot this is my channel name guys please subscribe